hi everyone today in this video we will show you how to replace cpu in hp dl380 g10 servers so this uh, we bought new servers uh, this come with 4208 cpu so we want to replace it with 5218 so we will show you how to replace the cpu in the server so first of all remove this blank now as you can see the heatsink on the cpu one you can see there is mention one two three four this number is mentioned to how to remove this uh, hissing if you want to remove the thing you first of all you need to remove this screw four then three then two then one and uh, when you want to install the hissing you need to go with one two three four so now we will remove the hissing to replace the cpu to remove the heatsink you need this type of bit if you can see the bit it's six way bit as you can see you just need to open from number four then number three then number two then number one now you can see we have removed the heatsink from the server and uh, to remove this just put a screwdriver normal tech normal screwdriver and just place here downside and just slightly push it's removed now now you can see uh, we removed the CPU. Now, as you can see, we removed the CPU from the heatsink, and we will see the CPU. Here it's 42 4210R. So now we will uh, install a 5218 CPU. As you can see, we will replace. But to install the CPU, you must need to match all the arrows as you can see on the cpu all three si side are same on the one side you can see the arrow as you can see arrow so you need to match this uh, you can find same arrow on the heatsink also on the motherboard i will show you arrow on the heatsink also now as you can see the heatsink uh, one two three this three side is same this one side you can see arrow here also the uh, from here if you can see this this side the all three sides are same here you can find the cut always on the heatsink one side will be different so you need to match this side with the arrow on the cpu uh, i have show, shown you before this is the arrow on the cpu you need to match with here also if you come to motherboard here you can see one two three these three sides are same here you can see the small arrow on the motherboard also there is a cut on the motherboard so you need to match all these cuts to install the cpu properly so now i will show you how to match the cuts as you can see the arrow on only one side all three side there is no arrow here there is arrow back side also same arrow so you need to match this arrow and this arrow just slightly put from the downside just match and just here press it's fixed okay this arrow match with this okay now as you can see same arrow is here on the motherboard so this side will go here right you can see there is cut also on the uh, heat sink you need to match it with this cut on the motherboard okay so we just need to put the heat sink now heat sink is uh, okay uh, now we will fix the heat sink now to uh, install the heatsink you need to first go with one number one 
then number two then number three number four now it thing is uh, 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 fixed now we will uh, see in the system that uh, we uh, whether we have installed cpu properly or no so now we will start the server to see uh, the new cpu is properly installed or no so now we have started the server now you can we will go to the display of the server uh, as you can see in the server display now you can see uh, the install cpu is 521 5218 okay so here on the start uh, you can see there is a cpu model so now cpu we have changed cpu successfully so thanks for the watching video thank you